One in nine women in the United States will undergo a hysterectomy during her lifetime. Surgical innovation has produced minimally invasive techniques for hysterectomy, like laparoscopy, and in the last few years, the use of robotic-assisted surgery. Both are similar operations. The instrumentation is put in through small incisions that are called ports. In a robotic hysterectomy, a surgical robot is attached to the instruments that go into these ports. It's really important for us to know what settings that um, new technology should be used because they have a real benefit and in what settings they don't have uh, as big of a benefit. Doctors Jason Wright and Don Hirschman from Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons and co-authors examined both of these operations over a three-year period from 2007 to 2010. Researchers studied more than 260,000 women who underwent a hysterectomy for non-cancer related gynecological disorders at 441 hospitals. The use of robotic hysterectomy really increased rapidly between 2007 and 2010 in the United States. By the end of 2010, 25 percent of hospitals that had a robot were using them for hysterectomies. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There was really no difference in the complication rates and the outcomes between women who had a laparoscopic compared to a robotic hysterectomy. On average, the cost of robotic hysterectomy was over $2,200 greater than laparoscopic hysterectomy. Some of that initial cost comes from purchasing the robot assist device. However, one of the claims for robotic assisted surgery was the more procedures done, the lower the cost. Researchers found little evidence that this cost decreased even with surgical experience. Getting a laparoscopic hysterectomy is really not that different than getting a robotic hysterectomy, and women can feel comfortable um, making that choice. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.